Hey guys, it's Julie the Bibliophile. Um, I was planning on doing a full book review today, but things got out of hand. I was doing homework, and then I was finishing the book I was going to review, and I'm on my way to my friend's house, live from my car, and um, so I'm just going to talk about it really, really quickly, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my full notes and review on Tumblr, and I will link that below, along with all the usual linked things. <laughs> So I finished a couple of hours ago, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rask, Rask, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so this is basically a book about these, this kingdom and it's divided into like eight kingdoms, four rhythm kingdoms and four season kingdoms. And our main character Mira is from the winter kingdom which got overtaken by the spring kingdom and now there's only a few survivors not in spring work camps. Um, and so now Mira has to figure out how to get winter back and get their conduit back, which is the source of their magic. Um, so that's about it for not spoilers. If you don't want to be spoiled, leave now. I give the book 3.5 stars. Would be 4, but some things piss me off. I'll talk about that. Goodbye! Okay, so basically, general feelings, because I don't have much time here. Um, first of all, my initial impression was that Mira was really pissing me off. Myra, again, I don't know how to pronounce it. They're all, they all had weird names. Um, but she was just like, she was kind of a really annoying protagonist, and for the first, like, hundred pages of the book we didn't know her age, and they never expressly stated her age, we had to figure it out via math, and she kind of sounded juvenile for a 16 year old. It was always about like, um, oh mother, he's so hot, and the descriptions of the guys bothered me a lot. And then also she was so immature, she's like, Sir was just trying to protect her by saying, you're not ready to go out and fight, and she's like, yes I am ready, let me go, oh my god, and I'm like, ugh. Um, but then she did get better as the book went on, but there were a couple of moments where I was like, really, Mira, really, you just made some stupid decisions. Like, um, I mean, the love triangle is a thing, but there was that really great moment where she realized that she didn't love Mother romantically anymore, which is good because I'm rooting for Theron. Theron is Team Theron there. He's, I love their dynamic, that they protect each other, and it's really great. kind of feels like a Peta Gale kind of thing, except Mother is not as awful as Gale was. But Gale wasn't awful initially, so you never know. Yeah, so I love... Mira and Theron, I keep changing how I pronounce their names, but um, they had a really good thing. I didn't like the, the way the book was split. Um, I thought it really picked up with that final battle in Cordell, and then having her go back to the work camps and getting captured really slowed things down again. And I hate when the action picks up in a book and then slows down, as I said in my Abundance of Catherine's book talk. So basically, I feel like the book could have ended with Mira's capture, and then it could have picked up the second book with her in spring. But another thing I found really interesting was that spring, like you usually associate spring with light and goodness and then winter with like evil. Um, and this had the opposite. Spring was the evil kingdom. Loved Nessa and I loved the moment when she first met Nessa, which was really cool where she said she felt that connection with Nessa and she felt Nessa's strength as she's being dragged away. The whole final battle I loved when, I, I wasn't expecting it to be fear on that. Um, I, I, his name. I wasn't expecting it to be Theron that Avril had captured when he was torturing Mira, and then that just really sparked their relationship even more. I also loved Theron standing up to his father. That was great. So basically from there we move into the final battle with, My with Mira, like now using herself as the conduit, which was another thing I found really cool that we had all the flashbacks with Hannah and Hannah talking to her, which I really liked. And then we find out that Hannah is her mother, so she's the actual princess and mother is not the king, she is the queen. And that, that was just really cool and unexpected. The book did have a few unexpected twists. Although the twist of Sir still being alive, I saw coming once she healed the kid and she found out she had healing powers. I'm like, okay, she healed Sir, that's kind of obvious. Um, so Theron comes and they have their first kiss and I don't remember what the line was before the first kiss, even though I just read it. I have it written down, so it'll be in my Tumblr notes. They kiss, and it's really cute. And then they go into the final battle, and this is really cool because Myra is using her magic, and then we see all the kingdoms unite and it ha against Spring. And it has me wondering if the following books are going to be about a union of the kingdoms now so that there's no more wars. And so now they get winter back. It has a really peaceful ending. The ending leaves me at peace, and it's really nice, and I like it. So, um, that was really quick but that's all about I can do this week. I will see you guys on, yeah, I will see you guys soon. That's it. Um, I'm going to put my full notes on Tumblr, like I said, and please remember to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Goodbye. What was his name? No. no. <laughs> I have, I have, oh my God.
god, I just read this. I literally just read this. No, would you? You're. Avril Ag. Avril Levine. Stop it. I'm cut.